if you are down for more drugstore makeup that looks luxury, well, you are in the right place because today I'm going to do another video on drugstore makeup that looks and feels luxury. Now it's my husband's birthday, so I'm not gonna have time to come back tonight and show you the wear test, but I will put it in comments. Um, but just so you know, I'm using this cream foundation by Wet n Wild, and while it's the wrong color, it looks absolutely like a luxury product on my face. So I will let you know how it holds up. I suspect it'll hold up quite well. Of everything I put on my face today, there's only one thing that I don't like, and that is the lip gloss. I don't like this lip gloss. It's very dry. It's too pearly. It feels cheap. Um, and it is cheap, so you'll see in the video why I don't like it and what brand it is. But other than that, I love this look. I'm wearing it to my husband's birthday dinner tonight. I'm not going to change a thing except for the lip gloss. And I hope you enjoy because I'm doing this for you, for all of us whose money is being stretched right now with inflation. You are in the right place if you want more drugstore that looks like luxury. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I come from the Hollywood industry, so I've worked with all ages, all ethnicities, and I kind of know what I'm talking about, but I use my 55 year old face to teach you mature techniques. I'm also the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of over 20 videos that you can purchase and own forever. And I teach mature technique, and I use mostly makeup from Ulta, Sephora, drugstore, all budgets. I talk skincare, I talk everything. Every category you can think of is in these 21 videos. And I do that so that you can look and feel your best at any age. And there are tricks to mature skin. Let's not kid ourselves, okay? Because last week was so wildly popular with the drugstore luxury makeup, I'm gonna do drugstore today. Now today, I don't know if this is gonna look luxury. It might just be drugstore. We'll see what I'm gonna title it. I don't know yet, but I am gonna do a cream makeup because I think cream makeup is prettiest on mature skin. I don't know if that's my color. I ordered two colors and one still hasn't arrived, so we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna start with Embryolisse because this is um, French pharmacy drugstore. We use this at ESPN. I've used this in every makeup trailer on every TV and film I've worked on. It does have a scent because it's French. They love their scents, but it's light. But it is a makeup primer, moisturizer, moisturizing mask. So you can use it as a moisturizer. The primer is built in. You can also wear it real heavy to bed at night as a moisturizing mask. It is very common with pro makeup artists. We all have it in our kit. And even though I already put on my skincare this morning and I already have an SPF on. Um, I got a new one that I really like. It's a vitamin E SPF by CauseRx, which is Korean. I like to go in and put a little of this through the T-zone, under the eyes too. Some of you will tell me your under eyes are super dry and makeup doesn't wanna lay nice but perhaps this embryo lease can give you the moisture you need, but also prime your under eye so that it looks good when you put concealer on, okay? So that is what I'm putting on, even though I already have all my skincare and my SPF on. Okay, and then I'm going to go, and usually I like to start with eyes, but today I'm just gonna go right in with this Wet n Wild. Now I've done a video before on the Wet n Wild liquid which is nice it's like five six bucks you know i can't start without my diet dr pepper um the wet and wild comes in a more matte natural formula and it comes in a more dewy i've tried both they're very pretty but liquid is never going to be as pretty as a cream makeup it's just not it's just not so we are gonna um okay this is quite yellow but you know that with cream makeup, we do have to go a little bit deeper than our skin tone, okay? So I will tell you it glides on like butter and I'm going to, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rub it in with my fingers and then go in with my stands out sponge the reason why I'm not gonna use a brush is because I find sometimes brushes exfoliate the face and I don't want 
exfoliation. Okay, now the one that I'm waiting to arrive still is a shade lighter than this and not quite as yellow. I went with a more neutral rosy tone um, and it hasn't arrived, so it's okay. We'll, we're really doing this more for do we like the formula. Uh, some of you have asked if I could come back and do a wear test. I do that a lot on TikTok. In fact, I always do wear tests on TikTok. But TikTok is a one-minute video that is quite simple to edit. And YouTube is long form. It's not easy to edit. I do it all myself. And today is my husband's birthday. So I cannot come back tonight and tell you how this wears. But I'll tell you what. I will do it in comments. So just look for comments and I will tell you how this wears but i'm going to tell you something i've seen a lot of people that i know and trust over on tiktok who have mature skin and they absolutely love this makeup so i'm gonna put some down my neck because now that's where i can go in with a brush um just because it's so dark and my neck is so light. Now it's very dewy and creamy, but that's, you know, that's me. That's my jam. Dewy, creamy, creamy, radiant. You guys know, that's what I like. This is about, I don't know, five or six dollars, sweat and wild. And I think it's really pretty. Um, we're gonna check in a minute. Now I'm gonna go in with my stands out sponge. These are on sale right now on Amazon because there's Amazon Prime Days right now. It's sticking to my neck. <laughs> um, normally this retails for $20. I love it, look, memory foam. It retails for $20, but right now I think it's $14 on Amazon. What I like about it is it presses into the contours of a mature face really well. You wet it only the first three times you use it. You you wet it, but you know, when I say wet it, you know what I mean. You lightly dampen it the first three times you use it, and then you never have to dampen it again, ever. Um, now, normally because this is so deep and yellow, if I was doing someone else for TV or film or photo shoot, I would have to do the ears because you can see my ears are a different color, but my hair is gonna be down tonight for my husband's birthday dinner and nobody cares what my ears look like. Okay, so here's the true test. My magnification mirror. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's super emollient. I wish it was a lighter color. Um, I would say it's medium coverage. I think it's buildable. I could go in with more coverage if I want. What's going on here? Um, and I might around the nose. A little more coverage. This is when color correctors come in handy because I've got some redness around the nose. Now this does have some gold tone to it, as you can see. So it kind of helps with some of that red. I could use a little bit more on the chin. I wish I had a little bit lighter color for my jawline because I feel like it's a little too dark. This is where having more than one shade of foundation really serves you well. Nobody's nobody's face is all one color and it's so silly that we think that we could take one little bottle of color and make us ourselves look natural. You can't. We have too many colors on our face. But that I, that's not terrible. I'm not mad at it. The high def might pick up some patchy areas of gold, but once I get bronzer and, you know, some blush on. Anyway, for five bucks, it's very pretty. See how glowy? Not the best coverage, but not bad. 
not bad. I'd say it's medium coverage, you know. Um, I am gonna use a little bit of Catrice powder. This is their mattifying powder. Um, I'm not really a fan of matte powders, but I'm trying to do some drugstore that I currently have. And this is one that I currently have. I'm gonna do my eyebrows too, because I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows in a minute. Um, but this is a really nice powder. See how that just kind of matted me down, but there's still a little bit of glow. This is Catrice. Catrice is really affordable. I think this is easily under 10 bucks. And I think they have, pretty sure they have a loose as well. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, that is the Catrice mattifying powder, under 10 bucks. Now, we are gonna go in, let me clean my hands because I have foundation all over them. I was just in California last week. I don't know if anyone saw, but I went out to Palm Springs to be with the brand Mob Beauty. Mob Beauty is um, vegan and clean and sustainable packaging, and they have a beautiful cosmetic lab in Palm Springs. Uh, I went out there and um, I don't think I'm back on East Coast time because I'm incredibly tired this week. If that's why I might seem I'm a little low energy right now, I'm just really tired. I just still haven't gotten back to the East Coast time. See, my face is looking a little yellow compared to down here, but hopefully we can warm that up with a little bit of uh, bronzer. because this is uh, too yellow. Anyway, what was I gonna tell you about Mob Beauty? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say about Mob Beauty. Okay, we're gonna go in with eyebrows. I'm gonna try blonde, this is NYX. NYX you can get at Ulta and you can get at Target and or you can get at NYX.com. Now I like NYX because they're kind of professional quality, but at a drugstore price, and they make a nice product. I love a micro pen, a micro pencil. I love a micro pencil. So I'm gonna get real close so you can see. I start with the inner corner. And I already don't like that color but I'm gonna have to do it on this side and then it'll match in a minute. See, this is one of the things I don't love about drugstore makeup. They never can get blonde pencils right. Now they do okay on brunette, they really do. They have brunette, they have gray, they have black, but that is just orangey red and that's blonde. And that should not be orangey red. So this is why I much prefer splurging a little bit on a good pencil by Anastasia or Benefit because it's just gonna be a better quality and it's gonna be better colors. This is why I rarely wear drugstore brow products because I don't think the colors are good. And I can tell you already, it does not have the same pigment. Come here. Come here, come here now. It doesn't have the same pigment as a higher end brand. Okay, I'm liking this. Stop it. I'm liking that, that color, this is taupe. So the taupe is better for me. The uh, blonde looks real orangey. Nobody wants orange brows unless you have beautiful copper hair, but not very many people in this world have copper hair. It's pretty rare. And also, because there's not a lot of pigment, it forces me to kind of press down harder and little pieces are breaking off. And I'm pretty gentle. I'm not a rough makeup artist. So the fact that the pencil's crumbling. See, I think you get what you pay for. 
this, this lead is not very long. It's crumbling. So now I'm going to have to twist it back up. This was probably, I don't know, $9, $10. I'd rather just spend 20 and get a high quality pencil. So this is where you have to really weigh out your priorities. I realize money's tight. I do, I realize it. But you might spend more money in the long run buying drugstore because you have to replenish it more often. So it's one of those things you just don't know till you try it. That's why I'm doing this, to help everyone out so that you can decide if you want to splurge a little bit or if you want to go drugstore. Now, some things you can do drugstore and it's just beautiful. A lot of things with drugstore, it's just not really long wearing. It's super pretty when you first put it on, but how does it look at the end of eight, nine, 10 hours? This is where the higher end products stand up better. They last longer. Also with higher end products, as you know, you're paying for packaging. They make the packaging heavier on purpose because they want you to feel like it's really luxury. Um, so that's just a fact. Okay, so my brows are done and let me look at them close up. They're pretty. Yeah, they're nice. They're not bad at all. I'm not mad at them. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. cream shadow. It's this peachy color. I don't even know the color. It was on the packaging. It's called No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. And I'm kind of a peachy girl. So I'm gonna put some on with my finger. We'll see how it looks. Okay, I love the color. Oh, wow. I feel like peach works year round um, because it's so pretty in the winter with maybe some like charcoals or navies to make it look a little bit more cool and wintry. But then you have the balance of that warm peach. Of course, it's gorgeous in the summer with bronzes and golds. Um, it's great in the spring, you know, as we start to transition from winter to spring, peach just kind of brightens you up and makes you feel great. And in the fall, you can add earth tones to it to really give it that more earthy, peachy. But I think that's really pretty, really pretty. I like that. I like this a lot. Again, I don't know the name of it because I threw the packaging out. Here's another thing I hate about drugstore. I know it sounds like I'm bashing drugstore, but I really love a lot of it. Um, the packaging takes so long to open because they don't want people ripping it off. When I tell you, it took me like three minutes to unwrap each of these pencils because it's got all that plastic wrap on it so people don't steal it. it. Drives me nuts. Okay, that's really pretty. Now, what I'm gonna do though is I'm going to take my powder brush and go over it because it's a little tacky and we don't want shadows to stick to it. I picked up Revolution because um, I wanted to show you a really good option for eyeshadows. Revolution is a really nice brand at Ulta. This was I don't know, $10 for all of these. I think that's a great price. So let's see. I think I'm gonna go in with, ooh, do I, well, let's see what this color looks like in the outer corner. I'm trying all this for the first time on camera, so I don't know how any of it really is gonna look. Okay, that's frosty but pretty. So I'm gonna put that, this one right here, I'm just putting on my outer crease, just cause it gives that real pretty sheen without really changing the color all too much. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with my little pencil brush with this pretty little light color here. And I'm gonna do 
that inner eye where it kind of gives a nice little luminous pop. I think that's something that anyone can do at any age that really kind of pops that inner eye. I love it. You could even take what's left on the brush and go tiny bit into the brow bone, just a tiny bit. We're not re-dipping. We don't want a really shiny brow bone, but that's really pretty. Okay, and then let's try, ooh, we might have to try this dark brown. There's not a lot of options in this. Try this dark brown. What I like about drugstore shadows is there's pigment, but not so much that you don't know how to blend it. So I'm just, I'm taking one of those little fluffy crease brushes and I'm just pouncing the outer corners. I'm not gonna go real crazy. I'm just not feeling glamorous this week. I'm really tired this week. Um, so I just wanted to do a really soft, pretty, basic eye look that you could do for daytime, for work, for nighttime. It could kind of work for anything. What's nice is there's no fallout under my eyes. Remember, I don't have um, concealer on yet. There's no fallout. So I like that when a shadow doesn't fall under your eye. So I think that's really pretty. I think that looks really nice. And then for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna take this fun little gold color. Now, usually when something is real sparkly like this, it's probably gonna drop all under the eye but I just can't resist. I just, I can't resist a glitter. I can't. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh, that is so pretty. I just, I can't resist a glitter. I wore so much glitter in the 90s when I worked for Mac and glitter was really popular back then. And I'd forget I had it on and then I'd go grocery shopping late at night and People would stare at me, probably because I look like a streetwalker. Um, not to knock streetwalkers. If you're on, if you're a streetwalker and you're on here, welcome. All are welcome here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some of this dark brown that's in the crease. I don't think they're even called street walkers anymore. I think they prefer sex worker. I think sex worker is what they prefer. I don't want to offend anyone because you know what? Times are tight and sex workers want to look pretty too. They want to have pretty makeup. Okay. So I did a little bit smoked under the eye, but see how soft it is? Okay, I really like that. Let's see if any of that glitter fell under the eye. <gasps> no, oh, maybe a tiny bit, but like not in a bad way. Oh my gosh, you guys, that glitter is so pretty. So this palette by Revolution is called Forever Dynamic Serenity. Forever Dynamic Serenity. and. This is pretty universal. I wanted to go with universal. This would be stunning on blue or green eyes or hazel eyes. It can obviously work on brown. Anything works on brown eyes. Um, yeah, I really can't think of an eye this doesn't work on. I have hazel brown. Some people are like my husband is more blue, green, gray. This is really pretty. Really versatile, really pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with Infallible Pencil by um, L'Oreal. I used one last week in the video, and guess what? It was it was gray. No wonder it didn't look dark. I'm a black girl. I like black liner. It's just who I am. I love it. So I'm gonna go in with this Infallible 
which I am not really a drugstore uh, pencil person, but my TikTok friend Courtney Hart, who does celebrity makeup, like real big time celebrities, she loves these pencils and always has them in her pro kit. And I'm like, if this is good enough for Courtney Hart and her celebrity clients, it's certainly good enough for this 55 year old. And I, I do like black. I very much like black. I'm gonna go up into the waterline. Oh yeah. That's what it needed, waterline. You don't have to do the waterline but I just love it being that I'm more hooded as I get older. I love it. And then I'm gonna take, I like a little bit of a wing to lift my eye. You don't have to do that. You never ever have to do a wing if you're not comfortable. But to me, it lifts the corners of my eye and I love it. Okay, this is a great pencil. It's a great pencil. I'm gonna go back in with this dark brown. And I'm gonna smoke it over that outer wing so that it stays in place. You know, sometimes when you put a shadow over a pencil, it really sets it. And I'm not gonna do the whole light because I like all the black, but just in that outer wing, it's gonna soften it. And then also the outer corners now underneath go kind of up and into that wing and lifts the eyes. Okay, this is very pretty. Good job, Revolution. Very, very pretty. Okay, we are going to do mascara. Now, I bought this one because I love tube, tube mascara, tubing mascara. This is Bye Bye Panda Eyes, but I think I'm going to do that for another time because this Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline has been really popular. And I've been wanting to try it. And I'm gonna use a little tiny bit of an eyelash curler by Jenny Patinkin. She gives you two rubbers, so it'll probably last at least a year. The eyelash curler itself will last forever. I mean, as long as you have it, it's so well made. But this is the best eyelash curler I've ever used. And I'm just so proud of Jenny because it's hard to do better than Shu Uyamura, who is always the industry standard. But I really love Jenny's. Okay, here we go. I'm really picky with mascara. My daughter has this one and she said, it thickens real well, but it doesn't lengthen. I'm like, hmm, interesting. I like my I like my mascara to do both. So I would love to hear from you guys. What do you look for in a mascara? Or what drugstore mascara do you think I should try? Now I've used L'Oreal Voluminous in my pro kit for probably I don't know. 25 years I've used Voluminous L'Oreal. And then a couple years ago, I started doing more Essence Lash Princess and Waterproof. That's pretty. She's right though. I think maybe it's not as long as I'm used to. I'm used to, no, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. I'm used to longer lashes. Um, but look at that. That does look like false mascara. I mean, that just looks like, it looks like I'm wearing falsies. Okay. This is pretty. This is pretty. Hey. Now I've been using the Obagi. Stop. I've been using the Obagi Lash Serum 
and it's the best lash serum I've ever used because it um, took away my reddish brown eyelids that I've had for three years because I've been using lash serums from other brands. And even though the other brands worked beautifully, um, the Obagi really, really works. I'm never ever itchy and it took away the reddish brown on my eyelids. So the Obagi is 100% my favorite lash serum I've ever used. I can put it a link to, I don't have an affiliate link, but I can put a link to um, the Obagi. It's really nice. They also make a brow gel in my, my brow, like a brow, uh, brow serum and my brows have been growing like crazy, like old man brows where they're like way up here. I gotta cut them. Okay, I'm not gonna do my lower lashes because I don't know if this transfers or not and I don't want it to um, transfer. So I'm not gonna do it. Okay, now here's the problem. I don't think, I don't think I bought a, I don't think I bought a concealer. Doggone it, that's what I didn't buy. I did not buy a concealer. And since this is drugstore, we have to keep a drugstore, don't we? So, we're just gonna have to go back to our um, Joa, just because I have it. And I'm really sorry that I didn't get This drugstore stuff adds up. Let's not pretend like it's cheap. I mean, maybe it's cheaper than luxury brands. But when you have to buy a mascara, a lip pencil, an eyeshadow palette, this e.l.f., this, um, you know what I mean? Like, it all starts to add up. You know, so many people say, oh, I want to try Saint, but... I don't have the money. Well, I don't know that I have money to keep buying drugstore. My goodness. It's expensive when it you're buying it all at once, you know? Whereas with the Saint palette, the Saint palette, you just, you know, it's the initial investment, but it lasts you so long, and then you're only replenishing one little thing here or there at a time. You're not buying the whole thing every three to four months, you know? And plus you get to put it all in one palette. Whereas this, I got, you should see my table. I got makeup all over the place. It's a mess and it wasn't cheap. This was not cheap. I don't get a lot of PR from drugstore brands. I get a lot of PR from higher end and I'm so blessed. Okay, so I really like that concealer. It's Korean, it's serum infused. I like that you crank it up and you can use the little sponge tip. Um, it's nice coverage, it looks skin-like. It's about, I think it's about $11 and I like it. I used it last week, sorry. Didn't give you new, I'm really picky with concealer. It has to look skin-like or it's dead to me. Okay, I'm going in with the e.l.f. bronzer because everyone has told me about it for so long and I've resisted it. This is Tan Lines by e.l.f. Let me see what it looks like on my hand. I'm nervous. I was nervous trying a drugstore. All right, I feel like I already look so warm because I have the wrong foundation. These e.l.f. putty bronzers um, are really well reviewed and well liked. I mean, I've seen them for t maybe not two years, but maybe a year and a half people have talked about these. And I've resisted buying it because I already have my favorite bronzers, as you know. My two favorite bronzers in the world are Saint Bella. And in the winter, I love Mob Beauty M80. 
M as in mob and 80 as in 80. It is the prettiest bronzer. And if you're the type where you're like, I can't really wear bronzer, it's too warm, you need M80. M80 is gorgeous. And it's sustainable packaging, so once you're done, I have to show you real quick. Once you're done with M80, you just pop it out and buy a new one. And you can buy a single, you don't have to do a four pack, you can get a single pack, but do you see that color? Isn't that pretty? I love it, I love M80, M80. Um, but this, this is nice. This is really nice. Feeling yellowy right here. Do I look yellowy? You know, high def will pick up any patchiness, any splotchiness, any odd color that's not blending in. Okay, we're gonna go down the neck now. My neck is looking yellow. This is just not a good shade. This. This, can, this foundation is not a good shade. They were out of a bunch of shades and some shades were prime and some shades were not prime and some shades wouldn't arrive till next week. And I'm like, I don't wanna wait a week to do this video. But um, I really just wanted to see the, um, looking yellow up here. It's just so yellowy. So the color's wrong, but it's, I'm still standing by the fact that it is a very pretty formula. And here, here's my areas that are the true test. And look, I can see all my red broken capillaries. This is where I really want a color corrector. Um, but you cannot get a good color corrector in the drugstore. I promise. I promise. They're they're chalky. They are textury. I don't even like luxury color correctors. I've tried so many brands and they're all like, ah, eh. it's Demi for me. That's it, Demi. But okay, what I was gonna say is this is where I get texture. This is where I can really see if a formula is gonna age me or not. And this is remaining very creamy. It's very creamy. So I, maybe I need self-tanner. <laughs> maybe that's what I need, some self-tanner. Okay, then I got the e.l.f. Putty Blush, because why not, right? We're already doing putty bronzer. Let's do putty blush. So I got the putty blush. This color is called Maui, which is a color that NARS Cosmetics came out with many, many years ago. And just taking a cute little flat kabuki brush. Okay, I see it. It's really sheer and subtle, but I like it. I mean, these are like five, six bucks. And did you know e.l.f. is cruelty-free? They're Leaping Bunny certified, so you can feel good about that. If you don't want any animal testing and you don't want a brand that sells in China, You know me, I like to go up into the brow bone. Kind of do a cohesive look. Just kind of go on the outer brow bone and then I take it up to the temple. You can even do a pinch of blush right here. It's so subtle, no one's gonna see blush on your forehead. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to do a lip liner, and this is the NYX in Natural. My daughter picked this out for me. Sorry. I like it, it's just super natural.
She knows me well. I bought this big pencil too. I really liked it. It's also by NYX and it's like a feathery, it's a lip liner and lipstick in one. Isn't that pretty? It's just real fleshy looking. And this is called, this is the Lingerie Push-Up Lip, Long Lasting Lipstick. It is called um, Push-Up. This is the color Push-Up. It's so pretty. I gotta get this. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking all this. Okay, and then I got a really cute, um, wet and wild lip gloss and kind of just oh shoot i didn't unwrap it before the commercial i mean the commercial before i started filming and see this is what i hate you know it's like how do you get and they got the stupid skew numbers which just to me it just feels so cheap i just you know the problem is is i started working at nordstrom at a young age and i got exposed to luxury at a really young age and then once you're exposed to luxury, it's really hard to do drugstore. It kind of makes you bougie for life. I think a mixture of drugstore and high end is good. What is this? Is this a, oh, it's lip gloss. It's kind of dry, so I thought it, <laughs> thought it was an eye, an eye cream. Yeah, this is interesting. This is kind of dry. Hmm. Magic Slick. Oh, Mega Slick Slip Gloss. There's nothing slick about it. Mm -mm. No, this is not slick. This is uh, frosty. Okay, I'll just tone it down a bit. Not terrible. I wouldn't buy that. I don't recommend it. I don't like it. Oh, and then I got this Physician's Formula Highlighting Stick, because y'all know how much I love highlighting. So let's see how we like this. Okay. Love it. I like the top of the cheekbone. Wow. That's really highlighty. It reminds me of the Saint uh, color in Pearl, which is very pretty. And then I'll take a little bit on my finger, kind of go a little bit above the brow, just to give a beautiful sheen when people are looking at you from the side, but we don't want it here. I already get natural shine in the middle of my forehead. That's pretty. Now, because I have it on my apple of my cheek, I'm going to go back into it with a tiny bit of blush. Okay, what do we think? Let me see. I curled my hair so I don't have to do it later because I have a zoom in a little bit with my agency. And... Okay, not looking at my face, if my black was up here, that foundation does not look bad. The color doesn't look too off, it's just a little tiny bit too dark and too golden. But when you look at my chest and then I've got some pink from sun damage, um, it just looks a little bit too deep. This was called Wet and Wild Classic Beige. 
and I think I have a lighter color coming, which is such a shame. I ordered it to arrive in time and it didn't, so it's okay. It's not the end of the world. There's bigger problems in the world. Um, so anyway, what do you think? I think this is really pretty. Now, do I feel this looks high end? Yeah, I do. I mean, the eyes are beautiful. You could tell me I had Pat McGrath on my eyes and I would think I had Pat McGrath on my eyes. The eyeliner is absolutely beautiful and fallible by L'Oreal in black. Um, wow, I love it. This is called their Prolast, their long wear eye pencil. I love this and it's not transferring to my lower rim, even though I put it in the upper rim, which is why I love the Gwen Stefani pencil so, so much. So this is really nice. Love this. Um, I really like the mascara. It's called Falsies, and it really does look like false lashes, but I also use a lash serum. So I don't wanna send you to get this and you know, you if you don't have the same kind of length, but this is definitely a thickening lifting. Like it really looks like I have a strip lash on. So this is great, this Maybelline False Lash Lift. I love it. Um, I love this Wet n Wild for five bucks, this cream. It's just, I have the wrong color, but it's really, really pretty. And in all of my textured areas, it just looks like skincare, not makeup. It just looks hydrated and, and really soft. There's no texture. It's not creating more texture. Uh, I love this. I love this highlighting stick. Look at that. I mean, that might be too much highlighter for some of you, but not for me. I love highlighter. I love that. Um, of course, I'm always very, very impressed with the NYX lip products. All the pencils love NYX so much. The NYX brow pencils, they're okay. I really honestly think that's where something you should splurge a little. I don't love them. Um, and these e.l.f. products were a big fat yes. The cream bronzer, the put, it's the putty bronzer. The Putty Blush, that's Maui, that's Tan Lines, and this is the Cream Eyeshadow, and I don't know the name, but it's Peach. I'll put it in the description. I started with Ember Elise, which is why I think my skin looks so beautiful under this makeup, and I did the Mattifying Powder, which I think looks really good. I don't feel like it I don't feel like it took all my sheen away. I really think it just looks really nice. Look, I still have a beautiful glow. Catrice Mattifying Powder. Um, I do not love the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss. Mm -mm, I won't be wearing that tonight. In fact, I'm probably just gonna throw this away. Um, and what else did I do? I think that's it. I'm really happy with everything. Um, I hope that helps. If something you've been on the fence of trying and now you've seen me try it and you like it, um, I would say go for it because this is very, very pretty. The eyes are pretty. Oh, the Revolution palette. That is gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. And that is forever dynamic in serenity. And there's so many different color combinations. And I'm loving that cute little pop of glitter that I just put on the center only. Love it, love this. So I'm impressed. I love the Joa concealer. I would send anyone to get this. That's about $11.99 at CVS, or you can go to joa.com, it's Korean. And I love it. Oh, you know what else? We didn't set it. We didn't set it. So I bought the Milani Make It Last Dewy because I like to be dewy. So let's try to do this without getting my hair too much. And then I always spray the back of my hand and I go in to set the concealer. I never put powder under my eye, ever. And I rarely do it on mature women in my chair. 
I used to. I used to, but I don't anymore because it ages women. Unless you're normal, unless you're normal to oily and you really need that powder around the eye, but I don't ever powder around the eye. I just do the setting spray trick. And I let that concealer really set for a while before I do the setting spray trick on the concealer. And another thing is you need that concealer, you need that concealer to warm up on the skin so that if there's any creasing, you can go with your pinky finger and pat out anything that might be gathering in your creases. This one has not creased on me. Um, and then I set it with the dewy setting spray. Oh, I like that setting spray. I've heard about it for a really long time and I've avoided buying it because you know I'm a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush girl, big time, 100%. But this feels like hairspray on the face a little bit. It really holds on your makeup for a long time, otherwise it wouldn't be in my pro kit. And it has a little bit of a fragrance to it. This has no fragrance. I do not feel it at all. It feels like I didn't put anything on my skin but it gave me this dewy glow. It also comes in a natural finish and a matte finish. So that is impressive. All right, let me know if you have any comments. Thanks for sticking with me um, while I tried all this. I, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I think this is absolutely beautiful and I'm wearing it to dinner tonight and I'm probably not gonna change a thing except for the lips because um, I might even just do lip balm over this cool thing. I love this. So I'm happy. I'm happy. And I'm really happy that you are asking for a drugstore because it pushes me to try more products. I don't want to be an elitist. I don't want to be the type that only uses Chanel and no one can afford that. I bought this in July or August. Can't remember. And I still haven't opened it because I feel like I'll be so tone deaf to do a huge Chanel video when gas is six to $8 a gallon and groceries have gone up and electricity is going up and we are all struggling. And then I come along with my $500 Chanel video, but at some point I do have to do this. So let me know if you wanna see Chanel. There is an audience for Chanel. Do, women do love a luxury video, but I never wanna be tone deaf to, to those of you who are struggling and just, want some really nice products from the drugstore. And everything I use today, except for this stupid lip gloss, I love absolutely everything on my face, absolutely everything. And I'm so bummed this is the wrong color, but if when this comes in the right color, I, I mean, I could wear this most days. This is beautiful. All right, let me know if there's anything you wanna see in future videos. I will bring my sister back. She was a huge hit, so I will bring her back for brow, a brow tutorial, especially for someone who doesn't have a brow. She has no brow. Um, and subscribe if you want mature content or mature beauty content, I should say. I gotta be careful with that word. Um, subscribe, it lets YouTube know that you are down for more of this type of makeup. And bye for now.